Hey guys, I'm not sure how many of you know this, but since OBS version 28 and macOS Ventura, you can actually record the desktop audio of your Mac without needing any third-party audio drivers like Soundflower or Black Hole. You don't need any custom audio devices in the audio MIDI setup app anymore. Recording desktop audio on the Mac just works for the first time with OBS. So I thought I'd share how to use it today. As I stated a moment ago, OBS now finally supports recording desktop audio in macOS Ventura. For this to work, you have to be running OBS version 28 or later and macOS Ventura or later. To set up a scene where both your screen and desktop audio are being recorded, simply add a new scene and title it whatever you want. Then add a source and select macOS screen capture. Hit OK. Next, ignore the method field and instead just select what display you wish to record. I have three displays here. You might not. Pick whatever one you wish to record. Now, in the Audio Mixer tab, you should see whatever audio devices you have configured in your OBS settings and a new device, macOS Screen Capture. And believe it or not, there's a decibel meter underneath it. And if you play some audio, it's going to move. This has literally never worked before, and it greatly simplifies creating screen recordings for the Mac, and it's fantastic. An app with this kind of feature set about 10 years ago would cost around $50, and OBS is free. This is amazing. All right, so now that we have your scene created, we need to configure our recording settings. The focus of today's video will be in the Recording tab under Output in the OBS settings. Once there, set your Output Mode to Advanced, and next set your Type to Standard. Then set your Recording Path to whatever drive and folder you wish to record to. Next is the Recording Format. The recording format you select determines the type of file your recording will output to. MP4 is the most compatible format. MOV is the best format for Apple devices, but is also supported by major platforms like Discord and YouTube. I choose to record in .mov. MKV is really just a container which contains many audio and video tracks of various codecs. The main benefit of MKV is that if your file experiences any errors, say you lose power midway through a recording, the output file should still be playable up until the moment you lost power, which is unlike MP4 or MOV, where the whole file would likely be corrupted since the file was not finalized. Next, let's discuss how screen capture works. Your Mac, either via software or hardware, is using an encoder to capture and compress video frames and then stitches them together to form a video file. Now on modern Macs, you have a lot of encoder options, but there's really only a few that you should be using and those are the Video Toolbox Hardware Encoders. OBS presents those in the Video Encoder drop-down list as Apple VT, H.264, or HEVC, Hardware Encoder, or something to that effect. If you want maximum compatibility for your video files, use the H.264 Hardware Encoder. If you have an Intel Mac with a T2 chip, I recommend using the VT HEVC T2 Hardware Encoder. The T2 chip is a variant of Apple's old A10 processor with dedicated hardware encoders and decoders for video. So instead of taxing the Intel GPU or the dedicated AMD GPU in your Mac, you can use the T2 chip and free up your system resources to do other things. The only downside is that hardware encoders almost always look worse than encoding video and software. Encoding in software means your CPU, which Intel Mac laptops aren't very great at, given their bad thermal performance and fan noise, so I would recommend almost never using the software encoders unless you absolutely know what you're doing and you know that your Mac can handle recording at the bit rates and frame rates you specify. Speaking of bit rates, the bit rate of your video determines the quality of your video file. A low bit rate will look blocky and pixelated and a higher bit rate will look closer to the source content. For reference, a 1080p Blu-ray disc will have a bit rate upwards of 40 megabits per second or 40,000 kilobits per second. Now, since we're not intending to master a Hollywood blockbuster, we probably don't need that high of a bitrate, 
especially because we're probably on a MacBook with limited amounts of storage, so we need to compress our screen recordings as much as possible, or at least down to a manageable size. For whatever encoder you choose to go with, I'd confidently say that anywhere from 8 megabits per second, or 8,000 kilobits per second, up to 12 megabits per second, or 12,000 kilobits per second, is perfectly acceptable. I've watched so much content ripped from Blu-rays at 12 megabits per second, and it's always looked great. 20 megabits per second is better, but you don't need that quality re for recording a Zoom call. So really, it's up to you to determine how high you want to go. And you should experiment with the kind of content you intend to record to determine the bit rate that is, that is acceptable to you. If you have lots of motion in your content, you'll need a higher bit rate. If you record a Zoom meeting, a lower bit rate is ideal for saving space. So there you go. That's how to record your display on macOS using OBS version 28 or later and macOS Ventura or later and have desktop audio. I hope you found this video useful and at least somewhat entertaining. So here's a demo of what it all looks like when it's said and done.